the hijackers of our cells, the hackers of our bodies. The virus. From the rhinovirus that causes the common cold, to one such as HIV that have taken the lives of millions of people, these infectious agents have the ability to run our world. However, we can protect ourselves from them and possibly use them to help us out. So, what are viruses? They are simple structures consisting of a protein shell surrounding its genetic material, and its job is to replicate. But they don't play by the rules. Instead, they go rogue. When a virus infects a cell, it hijacks and uses the cell's machinery, such as enzymes, to make new viruses. Now let's take a look at how our virus makes its babies, by hacking the host. We'll start with the bacteriophage, a virus that infects bacteria. When our cute little bacteriophage finds its way towards its host, it needs to break into the cell fortress. All viruses are host cell specific, which means that they can only attach at certain host cell receptor sites, just like a key fitting into a lock. Once the walls are breached, the enemy is ready to enter. For phages, their genome is injected into the host cell. The virus then uses the host cell's machinery to assemble millions of new baby viruses, thus turning the host cell into a phage-producing factory. However, bacteria aren't the only ones who are in trouble. How can we get hacked? HIV is a retrovirus that causes a condition known as AIDS. HIV specifically infects helper T cells, the white blood cells that help defend our bodies from various diseases. After binding, retroviruses such as HIV release RNA and several enzymes like reverse transcriptase that allow the viral genetic material to be integrated into our own DNA. By hijacking the cell's machinery, millions of new HIV particles are produced and released, destroying helper T cells in their wake. Soon enough, the weakened immune system finds it harder and harder to fight off even a tiny infection. At this point, you might as well want to curl up and hide from these evil agents that have the power to trick and reprogram our cells. But what if I told you that we could hack them for our uses instead? The key to the future might just lay in the hands of what we thought were our enemies. In phage therapy, bacteriophages can be used to target the bad bacteria more specifically than any antibiotic ever could, protecting the good bacteria in our gut and providing a solution to antibiotic-resistant bacteria. From targeting pests in agriculture to killing cancerous tumor cells in our bodies, the possibilities are endless. Scientists have even discovered that by inserting a virus into retinal cells of people with age-related macular degeneration, it could halt the leaking of blood and fluid into the eye. In the meantime, you can protect yourselves from these body hackers by keeping vaccinations up to date and eating a diet rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. Rather than us getting hacked, let's be the hackers to save lives instead.